Hi everyone. I finally got a shower. Um, uh, when I say I'm homeless, what I mean by that is that I don't have a place of my own. Uh, I do have people that will let me stay with them for a couple of days, but it may get old. I don't know, but I can't do much. I just carried in my suitcases, which re-injured my hands from carrying all those boxes and strapping tape. Oh my God, my hands are really injured, but I am beside myself. My little sister fell and hurt herself. She has a horrible, uh, this horrible accident. She's been cut right across here. And uh, I, I'm just too tired to go and, and visit her right now. Um, it's Halloween and uh, I've been invited a couple of places. I don't wanna go anywhere. I just want to rest. So, uh, shoot. I'm gonna, uh, my trunk's open. I'm gonna go close. My daughter is just, I had to put her dog down uh, last week and I don't know. I think she's kind of mad at me that I didn't know. Well, I, of course, I didn't know anything for three days. I didn't do anything but pack. Uh, so I, I, I didn't know what was going on in anybody's life, you know? So I hope she forgives me. There's just only so much I can do. Oh, geez. And I really need to buy some food and I don't even have that energy. So I'm just, I'm just going to go to Chick-fil-A right now. I'm, I'm dog sitting, which is fine with me because that's about all I'm good for right now. <laughs> oh God. Uh, so happy Halloween and, uh, I have another sister who needs to get her knees replaced, but I think she's a little scared. Uh, so she's, I told her she needs some Flexerol, some lidocaine patches. She needs to get them replaced, but I think, yeah, I think she is scared. Do, doing a body replacement is, is very scary. I remember I had to do my wheel, do, um, I was very scared when I first had my spinal fusion. I, I didn't think I would even live through the operation. And the first thing I said to my doctor was I didn't die. And he told me that. He told me that. So I hope you all watched the, uh, hope you watched a video of me at uh, Rosie's and Wood, Wood, Woodbridge of uh, my brother's horse. I only had like 10 minutes to get out of the house. He wanted me to play some bets and I kept thinking like, where is he? Well, he was on his way to this high school reunion so he couldn't do it. Well, his horse actually came in first and his horse was like way, way behind, way behind and came up by a nose and one. So I'm even too tired to give him his winnings uh, so that was a great day for him. That was, that was a really nice thing for him. Cause I think the last two times, oh jeez, I just made a mistake. Jeez. Oh, I just made a huge mistake. <sighs> mm. So I'm in very unfamiliar territory and I had just made a wrong turn. And if I don't know the roads very well, I get a little flustered. I think that's just because of my age, because I like living somewhere where I know where every turn is. So, uh, I am, you know, you know, you can tell when you don't, when you shouldn't leave your house. 
uh, that's that's where I'm at now. I should not go anywhere and do anything because when you are really, really tired, you got no business running the roads because that's what accidents happen. I went I went out to dinner with a couple of friends the other night at the, I guess it was the American Steakhouse and by the time we left it was raining and dark and all of us old ladies you know we have a hard time seeing at night so this is how this is how out of touch i am because when i wasn't working at walgreens i was at home right well i it, it is sunday halloween and i just pulled into chick-fil-a okay do you know what I'm getting ready to say next? They're closed on Sundays. You see, that's that's how out of touch I am. Because there was only like two or three restaurants where I lived for six years. So I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with all these city things, all these other restaurants. Uh, the only restaurant I think I had was at what, McDonald's and a pizza place and the, that one, and Domino's, okay. Uh, so I am just I haven't had a TV in six years either so I am just resting on the couch and watching TV I just have never had a TV uh, I had Netflix but you know that's different so I pulled into Subway and got a six inch Black Forest ham sub that's less calories I guess so um, haven't heard from my son in over a month. My daughter is very, very sad. She had to put down one of her docks and she's just beside herself. I, there's nothing I can do to help her. There's nothing. It's the saddest thing in the world is to, when you have to put down one of your babies. The, her dog was suffering, you know. So it's not a good day for me, people.